We have a list of 15 numbers and we want to know are all the numbers on this list equal? Well, statement number one tells us that the sum of the entire list is 60. Well, of course, if we add up 15 numbers and we get a sum of 60, that gives us no guarantee that all the numbers are equal. We could have 14 of them equal to one and then just one large number so that they add up to 60. So this statement by itself, just knowing the sum of a list, that does not tell you anything really about the constituents of the list. So this statement is insufficient by itself. Statement number two is a very interesting piece of information. The sum of any three numbers on the list is 12. And so, for example, a plus b plus c equals 12. Well, also a plus b plus d equals 12. Notice what happens if we subtract those two equations. We get c minus d equals 0, or c equals d. And it kind of makes sense that if you add, add up any three numbers and get 12, you could take out any one of those and substitute in any other, and you'd still get 12. The only way that would work is if all the numbers were equal. So it turns out here, this is sufficient to answer the question. All the numbers on the list are equal. So statement number two is sufficient. One is insufficient, two is sufficient, answer choice B.